In this video, I would like to show you some of the ways you can merge layers together here inside of Photoshop. I will return to this example in just a few minutes, but let's start off with this simpler example just here. Now, at the bottom of the layer menu, we have these three options just here, merge layers, merge visible, and flatten image. I'll explore all of those over the next few minutes. So I should point out guys, our layers panel just here, we have five layers, red, green, blue, black dots, and a white background layer. So you can see the little eyeball icon next to a layer, you can easily turn that off and on like so for all of the layers. Okay, so back into the layer menu, flatten image. No big surprises there, it just mushes everything together into a single background layer. Okay, we want to control Z to undo that. Layer, merge visible. So if I choose that just now, we get the exact same result that we saw a moment ago. What's going on? Okay, I'll undo that. So layer merge visible. So that's the clue just there, guys. It's merging visible layers. So if, for example, I come into my layers panel and turn off the visibility for the red and the green layer, let's choose layer merge visible. It's mushed those bottom three layers together, leaving the green layer and the red layer untouched. Okay. Very cool. Just undoing to get back where we started. Now, notice the keyboard shortcut for Merge Visible. It's Shift plus Command or Control plus E. Uh, so you can certainly use that one. I'm about to show you a cool little trick, guys, where you throw in the Alt or the Option key. So if you're using the keyboard shortcut, it's basically all of the modifier keys on the left side of the keyboard plus E. But I'll just yeah, use the menu here in this video. So I'm going to select Merge Visible, but hold down the Alt or the Option key while I do so, okay? And I'm gonna do that just now. Now, have a look at our Layers panel. A new layer has shown up, this thing here called Layer 1, and if I turn off the visibility for everything else, nothing visually has changed out here because you can see what happens is Photoshop has actually basically just recreated this entire document as a single standalone layer. So I can turn the visibility of that thing on and off, like so. So just to reiterate there guys, layer, when you choose Merge Visible, if you throw in the Alt or the Option key, what it will do is rather than merging all of your content together, it will do so, but it will do so on a brand new layer. Now this is fantastic because it leaves all of our other layers untouched. So if for example, you needed to sharpen everything, you could make a duplicate of everything via this method, sharpen this layer, and then if you have any problems, you can just throw that layer away, knowing that you haven't harmed any of the other layers underneath. Very cool. So let's, uh, actually, let's just delete layer one, getting back where we started, and let's go and look at layer, merge layers. Now this thing's currently grayed out, what's going on? Well, this thing only works if you actually have some layers selected first. So let's go and do that. Now let's say for example, I wanted to select the red, the green, and the blue layer. I could click on the red layer, and if I hold down the shift key, I can click on the blue layer. So you can see it also includes the green layer as well. But let's say I wanted to uh, select just the red and the blue layer. I'll click away to deselect everything. So if I click on the red layer, if I hold down command or control, I'm now able to select the blue layer without also including the green layer. Okay, so I've got the red and the blue layer selected. Up under layer, we've got merge layers. Also notice the keyboard shortcut guys, command or control E. So if I select that, notice the red and the blue layers were indeed combined and everything else remains untouched. So let's say I want to now join this layer called red and green together. I can select both of those, command or control E, join them together like so. Very cool. So that's all of those options there, guys, at the bottom of the layer panel just there. Let's jump over to this uh, more practical example just here. So let me turn off all of the visibility for the layers just here, and I'll turn them on one by one. So we've got our background sky and clouds, base layer, castle and trees, and then the rim just there. We've got our waterfall, birds, clouds, and then a bright and everything layer just here. Okay, so let's say I'm thinking I would like to combine these three layers together just here, the rim, 
parcel and trees and base. I've just used the shift key to select all three of those and I can just press command or control E. Nothing visually changed out here. These three layers were mushed together into one, fantastic. So I could just rename that whatever I like just by double clicking on there. And I could call that maybe everything. Silly title I know, but you can see now everything on that island bar the waterfall has been combined within that single layer just there. Okay, we haven't seen anything new just there. But things get a little more, a little bit more weird when we start to look at, for example, a layer like clouds. Now I say weird because we actually have blending modes involved, which we haven't looked at previously. So with clouds selected, you can see it actually has a screen blending mode. So if I change that back to normal, that's what this layer looks like normally. But I'll just undo that to set it back to the screen blend mode. And then the birds, for example, they have a blend mode of multiply. If I choose normal, you can see they actually have that white outline around them. Let's undo to set them back to multiply. So we've got cloud set to screen, birds set to multiply, and then this waterfall layer just here, which is set to normal. So if I select all three of these, let's see what happens when I press Command or Control E, which I'll do just now. Okay, we've now got a real big problem. We've got this new combined layer just here. Its blend mode is set to normal, but you can see the clouds look weird and as do the birds. So you can see guys that when you mush different layers together with different blending modes, those blending modes don't survive the combination process. Just something to be very careful to watch out for, okay? So let me just undo that. And um, really just to hammer the point home, so I'll just undo a couple of steps just there so those three layers are no longer combined. Uh, that also applies for something like a adjustment layer. So in this case, I have a curves adjustment layer just here. So if I double click on that, you can see it's just a curves adjustment layer there. And it's been applied to everything below it, right? So what if, for example, I was to select that and just say the, the clouds layer. So those two layers just there, Command or Control E, you can see the clouds have now popped out into their weird form when they're in the normal blending mode. And that uh, curves adjustment layer is no longer applied to everything. So I'll just undo that there like so. So um, again, guys, a uh, couple of important things that, are, that I wanted you to see, which are important when it comes to uh, combining layers when you don't have that normal blending mode applied. Okay, so layer, merge layers, merge visible and flatten image. I hope that uh, helps you out there, guys. Catch you later.